The beginning of battle for Soviet aircraft carriers hardly differs from that of other carriers. The only thing we can advise you here is to set a course to the nearest island in the direction where most of your allies are heading. You can dispatch attack aviation first because their cruising speed is the highest of all aircraft types. Before you launch your first offensive, try to detect as many enemies as possible and analyze their forces. It's quite probable that you'll have to change flank to be more efficient. Keep an eye on the minimap and positions of enemy destroyers on it. It's highly important because you'll often play close to the attack line. If you're spotted, enemies will do their best to gift you an express ticket back to the port. Try to follow your allies in battle when your team is confidently pushing forward into enemy positions. With respect to offensive measures, the rockets of your attack aircraft are effective against medium and large targets. When you dispatch torpedo bombers, keep in mind that it's quite difficult for players helming Soviet carriers to release torpedoes close to enemies and attack targets hiding behind islands. The reason behind that is the torpedo arming distance. Plus, the torpedo cruising speed isn't that high. When dropping torpedoes, even on large targets, you should take a lead by a length of the hull or hull and a half. Finally, utilizing skip bombers allows you to attack enemies in different ways. The main thing here is to avoid obstacles the bombs can bounce off. You can attack both slow targets and swift ships with this bomb type. It's sufficient to approach enemy ships in such a way that the closest reticle mark of the bombers lies along the ship's course right before the attack. If you do everything right, the bombs will hit the enemy ship immediately after they're released.